city of Arcadia is home to many attractions. The Westfield Mall, downtown Arcadia, the always packed in and out and the Arboretum. While they all attract people to Arcadia, there is another thing to consider, its education system. In Arcadia from the very beginning, the citizens of Arcadia were interested in education. They were interested in libraries. Before Arcadia was developed, it had a library. Before it had a church, it had a library. A bond measure was made in 1951 to propose the creation of a high school in Arcadia. Construction would be finished in 1954. Since then, the school would only grow in size and attendance. We have a lecture hall now. We didn't have that before. Back then, it was an old photo lab. We had junior high instead of middle school, so no freshmen here. We didn't have the J building. Didn't have a nice football field and the nice big stadium that we have now. We had a, uh, what was it called a temporary stadium that they had built back in the 50s. You know, we used to have lockers here on campus, so where all of the boarded paintings that we have in the hallways, they they actually housed all of our lockers. Before, in front of like the old orchestra building, which is now the percussion room, there used to be a huge field of grass. Um, we don't have that anymore. I had a really hard teacher who was super mean, and when we were late, he made us do push-ups until he told us to say stop. But at least I was in shape back then. I wouldn't be able to do it now. Nothing lasts forever, and Arcadia's history is no different. Over the years, historical people and monuments have faded away into the sands of time. However, that doesn't mean we can't preserve them for the future. For our documentary's finale, we will cover the preservation efforts taken in maintaining Arcadia's eventful past.